Hey guys, before we get to the video, I just want to explain something. I've been going through my uh, studio here on YouTube and cleaning up some old content, getting rid of some temp videos that I had up there, which just for internal things. Like up here, this IMG2733 temp temp temp. That's back when Emu was porting the game Gun Fright to Commodore 64 and 128. I was doing beta testing for him and I just made a quick video um, showing him a bug. I uh, was going to delete it at the time, never never really thought to get around to it, so it just kind of stuck there. That one I'll probably delete. But then down here, I got to this one that says, Temp Demonstration Video 64 with RRNet Ethernet. That was a video I did for a gentleman on, I believe, 1164 Forum, who was having a hard time using Contiki. Contiki is an operating system with uh, web apps for various uh, old platforms. I believe the first release was actually the Commodore 64. Uh, this gentleman was having a hard time, and I figured, you know, I'm just going to make a video and explain, you know, how to do it. This was right around the last release of Contiki, so this was up up. Uploaded on uh, September 26, 2016. That's the last time Contiki was updated. You can still download it, but I don't think it's I don't think it's working with the current protocol. It hasn't been updated since then, so I, I don't think I don't even think the IRC client's working anymore. I might give that a shot this week and to see, but I, I don't believe so. Well, anyhow, I figured you know what? Let me let me take this video again and uh, give it a proper upload, make it available. Only because it's kind of like a time capsule. You know, let's go back to 2016, the last time that Contiki web browser probably worked. Uh, this uses the um, RRNet Ethernet uh, adapter, which as you probably know, and most of you probably have, well, at least with the Turbo Chameleon, is that's the Ethernet adapter for the Turbo Chameleon. It can also be plugged into the cartridge port and as a standalone and in this video I'm, I'm basically demonstrating it as a standalone i'm not using any of the features other features of the turbo chameleon i'm not using turbo or anything it's just and as a matter of fact you can see when it starts that this computer has jiffy dos installed but i'm not even using the jiffy dos commands i'm using the long form commands because the person i was making the video for didn't have jiffy dos so anyhow, that was probably easier to explain than you know try to put in the title or in the description that th this is not going to be for everybody. And you know, a lot of people are going to say, "Oh, what's the big deal? This is it's kind of boring." So if you're one of those people, then yep, thank you for watching. Uh, please come back and um, check out our other videos. But for some, probably you know, enjoy it for what it is. You know, historical presentation of a Commodore 64 using the Contiki web browser to go to Google and start a Google search. I'll see you, Jen. Thank you.
And that was about it. That was connecting directly to the internet. There's nothing else in between. There's no Raspberry Pi or anything. That's that's that Ethernet going directly to a port that's going directly to the router. Uh, that's and that's the one megahertz processor handling all that. Even when Contiki was brand new, the first release back in uh, 03, it, it wasn't the, the browser itself wasn't the best browser. As a matter of fact, all its tools weren't the best, but it was it was kind of like a tech demo. And I believe that Contiki went on and now it's using some embedded systems. But um, it was a good novelty when it came out. There, there is a lot better ways to connect to the internet with an old Commodore. And I'll probably, probably do some videos down the road on that. My favorite, which people, some people think is cheating, is using a Raspberry Pi as a slave and then using a ser serial terminal. There's, there's a lot you can do in there. You know, a lot of people who complain probably don't realize how much you can do, uh, even do directly. But anyhow, thank you for watching. And hey, we're three subs away from 300. I'd like to get to that 300. So, and it, one thing I notice is um, I'm, it, Google tells me, or excuse me, YouTube tells me that 98.5% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those 98.5, please sub, like, subscribe, and share. And thank you again. Until next, goodbye.